All right, so today we're going to go through an exercise which is called a Turkish get up. And it's an exercise that I've been starting to give to my clients more and more, and I'm slowly falling in love with myself. And it's partly because it's scalable, it's a fantastic exercise which starts to encourage core strength. It's incredibly, it's an incredible whole body movement. And you'll notice that the core is doing its proper job, which is acting as a junction between the, the body and the arms, the limbs and, and the legs and different levers act on it. So it's, it's a real uh, applicable movement. I can see that this movement is incredibly applicable to, for example, Jiu Jitsu, um, which is what I do on a regular basis, but also when it comes to just creating a novel experience of someone using their core. We're going to go through different ways of, of doing this today. So, um, when we do a Turkish get up, we're going to go from a laying to a standing position with weight in our hand. I might just need to tilt this camera a little bit more just so you're able to see exactly what I'm talking about. So let's bring that just to there. Okay, perfect. Ooh, a bit more. To there. Okay, great. So to start off with, we, we're going to use our shoe. All right, and the reason why is because we need the arm to be in a stacked position. And if this, if my hand, tilts that way, it's going to fall off, so it enables us to get a really good idea of um, our stacked position. So stacked position here is making sure that the wrist, the elbow and the shoulder are completely in line. Now you notice when I start this movement, oh yeah, one more thing, I've caught a lot of patients putting their pinky or their, or their thumb either side of the shoe, you can't do that. All of your hand has to be touching the sole of the shoe. So from here, the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to take this arm and I'm going to drive it behind me. In fact, just so you can see it, we use the other side. So I've got my left hand up, my left knee up, and then from this position, I'm going to drive my elbow down into the floor to get myself to sit up into this position. Now, you notice how my arm is dead straight. From here, I'm going to take my hand out and I'm going to plant it, and then I'm going to extend it. So now I'm in a crucifix position. So if I can't show you here, I'm in this position here, all right? Now from here, once again, hand on the sole, I'm going to now take my leg back between the gap between my torso and my arm. So from here to this position here. Right, now from this position I need to straighten up. So I'm going to push off this knee and turn into this position into a lunge. And then from here, you're going to stand up. So now I'm going to reverse it. So I'm going to slide my foot back, taking my knee to the floor. From this position, hand to the floor. That's our crucifix position. From here, I'm going to do the opposite. So I'm going to kick out between that space here. Back to this position, elbow on the floor, and back down. Even doing it out of the shoe for my arm working, not so much my core. So then, if I show you the other way, we're now on the kettlebell. So I haven't really attempted to take it, we'll give it a go. So from here, so I'm much more aware now that my arm is in a stacked position. My arm is directly over my shoulder, my hand is directly over my shoulder, uh, knees up on the same side. So it might be that just to start off with, from a scaled version, you're going to drive, it, drive the elbow down into this position and then press up. And then from here, then reverse it back down. I can still feel my core working, but it's a nice way to introduce some core strength as a basic movement. However, of course, if I want to, from this position here, coming up to here, Hand out, push out, crucifix from here. I'm going to set this leg back to this position. Notice how now both my shoulders are stacked, but now I need to press up to here. This position, up, reverse it, knee to floor, hand to floor, foot through, elbow down, lay down. And then just out of curiosity, I'm going to try 16 kilos. So from here, well, okay, significant build up. Right, so punch him up, I'm gonna be careful of my face. Knee up, leg up, elbow down. Cool. To here, hand out. This position here, leg through. To here, straighten up. Here, knee down. Here, hand out. Foot through, elbow down. Okay, well, okay. So 
So for me, I think 60 kilos is probably my limit. Probably maybe about five each side, I might be able to do. But I'd recommend just starting to scale up. Scale up that first, just with your shoe. Even if you do the first half of the movement, then go into the second half of the movement, chain it. And then aim to get five on each side done before you can increase the weight. Make sure they're comfortable, because you don't want that weight falling in your head. And um, yeah, just make sure that you check yourselves over for health and fitness practitioner first. Make sure that you're very, very confident we've done something similar before you move into this. But I'm sorry for the love of this exercise and hopefully you might as well. Thanks for watching.